Welcome back to Tain Slayer Info. Now, since the procurement of the 31 MQ-9B Predator drones has been cleared by both the United States and India, the next steps which would be taken is to start the procurement. As per the different sources, India is preparing to kick off the acquisition process for the 31 weaponized drones from the United States. The procurement of these unmanned aerial vehicles are scheduled to begin in early July 2023 tentatively. These weaponized drones of the United States will give India an advanced reconnaissance and combat capabilities. These drones are equipped with state-of-the-art surveillance systems which will help India in order to efficiently monitor the hostile activities and also carry out precise strikes. The MQ-9B Reaper or Predator B drones, which can fly for around 40 hours at altitudes over 40,000 feet for surveillance missions, are also equipped with AGM-114 Hellfire, which is an air-to-ground missile. Not only that, these Predator B drones are equipped with smart bombs for precision strikes. During November 2022, Lockheed Martin missiles and fire control successfully conducted a 16km flight test for the joint air-to-ground missile medium range. This successful flight test demonstrated the joint air-to-ground missile medium range's increased range, tri-mode seeker incorporating a new infrared sensor and an electromechanical control actuation system. Since these joint air-to-ground missiles will replace the legacy Lockheed Martin Hellfire Romeo and Hellfire Longbow missiles, Indian Air Force has made a formal request to the United States to include these AGM-MR missiles on its fleet of the MQ-9B Predator drones. The increased range of 16 km allows for increased surviving rate for end-users by affording standoff engagements of both stationary and moving targets. And this would be a good option which can be stressed to the United States by India. This substantial increase in the standoff distance can significantly enhance the operational capability of the MQ-9B drones, allowing them to engage targets from a safer distance without risking the loss of such costly unmanned aerial vehicle. The joint air-to-ground missile medium range can also be equipped on the Boeing Apache attack helicopters and since Indian Air Force already operates Apache helicopters, procuring these missiles would benefit the Indian Air Force chopper fleets as well. So let's hope the United States takes a request by India to include these joint air-to-ground missile medium range missiles in the list of weapons of the MQ-9B Predator drones and helps India to boost their firing power range. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.